So inequalities are one thing. You're learning inequalities and you're getting them down. It's just not an equal sign. Greater than, less than. What's weird is when now you're starting to deal with absolute values and inequalities. And they're pretty, actually they're pretty easy if you follow a couple rules. Don't try to cheat. I'm watching you. There's an easy way to do this. So don't be like, oh, you know, I'm smarter than Ryan, so I'm going to do some shortcuts to get to the same answer. Don't do that. All you do when you have an absolute value inequality is you write two separate problems before you even start. You take the original and you, you change it not at all. It's exactly the same. X is greater than 5. And then the, uh, the one on the other side, you flip the sign. So now it's less than. And you change his sign here. So if that was a negative, it would go to positive. But since it's a positive, it goes to negative. So two problems. One here, same as the original, identical. The one here, flip the sign flip the sign. And now, in this case, you would like continue on with your problem and solve, but we're done. X is greater than 5. X is less than negative 5. And remember, there, yeah, I talked about this in an earlier video. I'm sure you've memorized all my videos at this point. But this is an or problem because you can't have a number that is bigger than 5 and less than negative 5. Like, give me an example. There's not one. Okay, 10 is bigger than 5. Is it also n less than negative 5? No. So this is an or, not an and problem. Um, and I won't go into too much detail, but you can, it, it's, it makes sense. Okay, so now the next case is this. So, okay, so I get it. This is really easy. I'm going to just draw two arrows like Ryan told me. Same thing. So you have 2x minus 2 is greater than 10. Absolute value of 2x minus 2 is greater than 10. Two arrows, don't even think. And so far, you shouldn't even be thinking. It should be like automated response. So you have... 2x minus 2 greater than 10. Remember, the one on the left, you don't change at all. Now this one, 2x minus 2, change the sign, change the sign. Now you have this problem. And from here, it's just about solving inequalities. How good are you? You know, whatever. Oh, I'm going to get 2 to the other side. 2x is greater than 12. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x is greater than 6. That's cool. This one, plus 2, plus 2. 2x is less than negative 8. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x is less than negative 4. Again, this is obviously an or answer. You can just box them like this, or you can put or in between them, because the answer is x is bigger than 6, or the answer is less than negative 4. No number is true to both those things. So you'd have two answers. That would be your answer. Done. Okay. I think you're getting cocky, because you're like, I don't need any more examples, Ryan. This is so straightforward, and I'm so smart that I have this mastered. But there is one, like, curveball that they can throw at you, and it looks like this. You're like, 2, absolute value, x plus 1, ma plus 1, greater than 9. So right now, you're like, hmm, I don't even, this is an automated response. Ryan said, don't even think, two arrows. You can't do the two arrow t issue thing until the absolute value is totally isolated on the left side. Right? And so we have all this drama. We got like a plus one and this annoying two. I can't do my two arrows till I get rid of those suckers. So like normal algebra, let's get this one out of here. Minus one, minus one. So you have two x plus one greater than eight. I still have to deal with the two. That's pretty annoying. Divide both sides by two. You have absolute value of x plus one is greater than four. Now, because this absolute value is isolated, now you can do the whole, okay, two arrows thing, right? So again, I think a lot of the problems are already going to be the isolated absolute value. But if they're not like this, you got to do a little pre-work. you got to do a little pre-game session. So I'm going to erase this so it's out of the way. You know, I only have so much valuable airspace in front of me to do these beautiful math problems that we all enjoy so much. So, so let's do my two arrows. This is, this is weird, but above, right? This one would be x plus 1 greater than 4. x plus 1, change the sign. Change the sign, boom. And now, okay, all right, I'm going to do minus 1, minus 1. X is greater than 3. Minus 1, minus 1. X is less than negative 5. Those are my answers. So that's it. That's compound inequalities. I feel like you could ace these suckers on the next quiz or the next test. Uh, and that's it. Remember, if you're having a hard time at your local high school, uh, you can take this class online at Silicon Valley High School. Pass it there, and the credits will be transferred back to your school.